Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity, the 12 o'clock location we have so. Starting as the Black Terran, bottom left-hand corner, we have Ash Ball. Can't, oh, I couldn't do, yay, they did top versus bottom, so I can do the color swap, so I take it back. Well, do I want to leave it there? Kind of darkish. We'll leave it. Although it makes Ash Ball's name a little bit less visible in the upper right-hand corner. This is going to be on Neo Sylphid. This is the final match. I think Ball making notes to potentially to CPL, also maybe the Clan War Leagues, I'm not positive. And But also earlier stages of this match. Uh, early stream for me today on Twitch land because I had to take the day, I needed a day off aside from that, but also taking the day off because as previously mentioned, there are the uh, ongoing toilet issues. Attempted to replace the oil, uh, the O-ring, but the toy was really jammed in there. And so it needed to be replaced, but also I ended up cracking the porcelain in that attempt. And secondarily, uh, there's a bunch of housework that's happening, so our entire shower is getting in the shower wall. We rent, and so our landowner, land, landowner? Our landlord came over and uh, evaluated everything to get the shower replaced. So we'll see how that goes. So lots of chaos happening, per usual, handling it fairly well. But, you know, it's a lot of craziness. I will say outside the crazy and unfortunately i don't have mead to write it out my mead dealer is currently sick with covid who oftentimes listen to these casts so shout out to him hope he feels better and that's mead not uh, weed not this time atf uh if you guys haven't tried mead i highly suggest trying it it's absolutely delicious yeah people have liked the meandering talks at the beginning so i'm adding them towards the start of the cast again but yeah hope I've managed to avoid the plague thus far, magically somehow, despite my daughter uh, and all of the action happening with her. I have no idea how. Maybe it's because my workplace has very strict masking policies, and I seem to be a hermit otherwise, I guess, as far as people around. Anyway, as far as openers, looks like we have a gateway, no zealot, and into cybernetic score for Ball. So we'll see if he goes for more of a, an aggressive Dragoon opener play. This is a rampless opener, so dropping that barracks and maybe setting up to go for racks into command center, scouting bottom right. Looks like that probe is gonna go to that 12 o'clock location to get first scout, however. Potentially could create some disruption along that natural, but also it's unfortunate that initial zealot wasn't built by ball because there is a possibility that it would have had an opportunity to create some chaos here. Now the Marine actually blockading as well. That probe not able to squeeze through the gap. So gonna take a little bit of damage, but go ahead and wander back out. Second. Marine being constructed, and it looks like this is the reason that front door being left open. We're seeing an immediate build into factory. It looks like this is, is potentially going to be one factory into expand, a single SCV on gas to get that machine shop and potential siege tank and uh, siege tech upgrade. 7x core whirling going ahead and getting that range upgrade. It looks like that SCV sees it, saw it once. It's going to go ahead and move out. Didn't see the third pylon, interestingly enough, so happy with what has been spotted there decided to do a nice little michael jackson warp a he uh movement across there so initial factory looks like it's going to be so i take it back initial vulture so vulture to start the marines have moved to a more forward defensive position that's three marines which would be able to fend off a single dragoon and the command center being constructed the barracks being moved to, to the forward slot and we'll see if a bunker gets constructed as well. The Dragoon holding the gap right now. Range is going to finish in not too long. I don't know that this Vulture is going to, with the timing of everything, be in a great opportunity to do any harassment. What this is going to allow, that SCV going to get taken out. And that's, upon taking that out, I assume Ball is just going to start marching forward with those Dragoons, leaving one at home base just in case. There's that bunker under construction. Machine shop being dropped. The Vulture going end around. Probe wandering out to go ahead and drop that nexus but this dragoon should be able to well that probe's going to be exposed so maybe a shot there upon seeing that single dragoon so just going to back right back out does have the three scv back on gas and getting the mines researched the dragoon already starting to assault that bunker at the natural expansion single scv but that will be it cost a little bit of minerals i don't know if there's going to be much of a threat I, anyway because of the wide natural expansion and the pylon right here uh it could, despite there being no ramp here, discourage more aggressive Dragoon play. Robotics facility being plopped down with the second gateway. I think the Robo was much, yeah, way before this to get early detection, potentially to deal with vultures and mines. 
But right now, the work count just about even. Both players playing more towards a macro end of it. I'm wondering if so, now that he's got that mine upgrade finishing, if he's just going to wander out, plop a mine here, maybe plop a mine to the north to create some distraction or some delay as far as being able to plop that third nexus down and just play the match from there. First siege tank making its way out. It doesn't have siege tech, but that will be sufficient to draw that dragoon back because tanks can, first of all, walk fire, but second of all, single tank versus single dragoon, the tank will win. Armory being plopped at that natural expansion. No second gas as of yet. Another vulture has been produced. It looks like vulture speed also being upgraded. There's the mines. Looks like two defensively out front. Natural expansion up, but this is putting So in a pretty strong economic lead as he got that base up much more rapidly. Three gateways now up and operational for Ball and First Observer, which will allow him to apply a little bit of map control. Usually what this opens up is some mine clearing out in the field, and it also lets you kind of march those Dragoons out towards a forward position outside that natural expansion to prevent additional vultures from sneaking out. Citadel of Adun plopping down to get some follow-up Zealot leg speed potentially, or maybe a quick two base Arbiter play. I'm assuming we're not gonna see that. It's also possible that there might be a Zealot leg speed timing attack of some sort that is in the mix for ball. Those are all options, but he could also just be wanting to play the long game, make his way towards three bases. A Vulture able to sneak by that initial Dragoon, taking a little bit of damage along that way. Plus one weapons being upgraded. Second gas being grabbed and the second factory being dropped down. This is a very delayed second factory and I wouldn't be shocked if so is in fact wanting to play a much more rapid third base style here out of this. The Observer able to get past both missile turrets and so should be able to sit on top of the factory line and see troops as they're producing. Siege tech being researched. Ball actually sneaking out to the bottom corner, getting a quick third nexus in all three pylons just before the vultures were able to jump on top of it. More Dragoon, that was a very risky take, but pays off, particularly because So himself, and I think he might have opted to do that upon seeing the, could have been a preemptive thing actually, I don't know the timing fully of it, but mine's now being planted everywhere between here and there. So the Vulture is not able to get as much done as they wanted to. You usually want them out in the field doing something. Forge at the natural expansion, particularly with the that degree of economic up, uh, investment with the mines and the speed and whatever not. Starport being dropped. We'll see if that's to get... Looks like that's just for the plus two weapons, that Dragoon being shoved off the front. So maybe moving up to go ahead and ground and push that Dragoon away so he can grab his third base fairly rapidly. More Dragoons and an Observer moving out to greet. And that Dragoon just barely gonna have its... Well, is it? No, does not have its life saved. These two Dragoons might have their life forfeit as well. Now turning around as a lot of siege tanks moving out for Sosa. So I, I didn't think this was going to be a timing attack, but it looks like maybe it is. So pushing out, maybe just wanting to get a little bit more map presence and shoving out in the field that way. But certainly this opens up. I assume he's not going for something additional because this would be very unusual off just two factories at this stage of the match. Third factory being dropped. Ball didn't have a lot of those troops gathered up, so it was fairly successful in doing so. I'm looking for an SCV to wander out. There's the, the There I missed it. I was just looking in the wrong location. SCV building that third in the upper right-hand corner. However, the additional base is up. It's going to be the Zealot face planting the mines along the way, so he can go ahead. Let's see if he can get two for... Nope. So the Vultures will still be able to see maybe the probe transfer at the very last second, but I don't know that they're going to be in a position to do anything about it. Second armory being tacked down to get that plus two, plus one armor. And I believe So's going to go ahead and shell up and play towards more of that 200 big gateway flood from ball so wanting to play gate gateway man to follow this up but i don't think this is going to be successful for him because he doesn't have a sizable enough economic lead to really make it work big comp set there catching the citadel of a dune but also seeing that there isn't any follow-up tech past that so recognizing that it's going to be more gateway man style so if so and he also got a good look at the gateway count so tacking on two additional factories of his own he could honestly go up to six or eight at this stage, particularly since he's already controlling this three o'clock base and just work the upgrades. And I have a feeling if things just play out as they're looking right now, this could be a defeat for Ball right off the bat because he's down on the worker count. He's only within a 10 supply gap. Usually you want to be about 12 or 15. Um, the upgrades are sailing for so. He's got that third base up and running. Control tower plopping down to potentially 
get a science vessel out in play to drop some EMP to provide some of that support. And I don't see any form of Arbiter tech nor any High Templar or anything else. It's just going to be pure gateways. So Ball's going to have to have some beautiful surrounds and some incredible engages with the troops to make this work. So sealing up that right-hand side with some supply depots along the way. And on top of that, Ball is running into a situation where, well, he is at least pushing the vultures back and keeping so on his side of the map where he's not planting. There's the few mines out here to the south, but otherwise he's at least keeping so in the dark and keeping the mine clearage out in the field so he can at least, when so starts moving that army forward, get a little bit of a more free flow mid map because if there are mines on top of that everywhere else in the map this is very clever from so actually getting a lot of these vultures out i'm wondering if a lot of them have any mines remaining i'm not sure if that's even something okay it looks like one mines left he might want to continue to do that but ball being very diligent and clearing ooh, taking some siege tank hits for it but being diligent and going ahead and keeping that mine field cleared checking to see whether ball was going for the for a fourth it looks like ball is not going for a fourth he just wants to go for an army surge here in the mid game and again, is going to have to go to very strong positions. And oh, I missed this. Is going to go for shuttle bombs on top of it. So going for more of that shuttle style play. So rather than opting for High Templar and something along those lines, instead opting to get a couple shuttles out on the ground. Supply still just about even. Two, C or two siege. Two photon cannons behind that pylon wall should protect that territory. But behind this, we've got seven and an eight factory on the way and some science vessels with EMP researching as well. And a pretty decent siege tank count, although actually I would like to see it a bit larger here. That third machine shop was canceled and actually maybe he's gonna decide to build it someplace else. A third machine shop might be warranted here, especially going up against pure gateway man like this. But the other problem for So is, is he hasn't done a great job, like I said, getting mines out on the field to really make it where balls engagements are gonna be a little bit more challenging clearing a couple Dragoons out to maybe open up that inside 12 o'clock. Could walk that direction, but I feel like that siege tank count is a little bit low. Ball doing a pretty good job of spreading his units already to crash on a particular location. Vultures engaging some zealots there along the western flank. SCV building a missile turret preventatively. The thing is, is even if so isn't able to capture this base, he's up on workers and he's even in supply, and he's got amazing upgrades, so should be just fine. That single siege tank, potentially vulnerable. A couple mines being dropped as well. Zealot bombs, able to take out that siege tank there. Ball, at the very least, able to clear some units to the north, so actually losing a lot of supply in the midst of this. Now the Dragoons, however, walking into that siege tank wall, that the turret's able to take the shuttle up above, so as everything ends with that forward engagement, so now ahead in supply, nothing but blue glue, blue goo left on the ground. And Ball cannot feel comfortable grabbing a fourth base. As so does have the option to go ahead and take a fourth himself, but he can also be aggressive behind this, and he's got a lot of factories to to push behind this. I will say though, the siege tank count rather small at eight and only a single siege tank to that back corner. So if he can somehow manage to pick those siege tanks off, it'll take a while for those two two machine shops to clear that back out. So this is huge. The Zealots being able to get a drop and clear a lot of those siege tanks out. So overextending a bit, still has the supply lead, but again, critically losing a lot of those siege tanks. You can refill the vultures rather rapidly, but the siege tanks, not so much. So getting a really good engagement despite being up on supply, I guess a lot of that is in worker count. So I should keep that in mind. Ball trying to crash back in. He's only got four Dragoons, and that should be an easy reclaim even with the Siege Tanks, but So's got to feel somewhat uncomfortable. Again, with the low Siege Tank count, I'm looking for maybe another Machine Shop to get to get dropped. So So, despite being in an advantageous position, is going to fall behind here because Ball, with superior troops, if he can go ahead and grab a fourth, looks like he's going to grab a fourth. The mine is going to see it along that corner. Because So not able to keep that Siege Tank count high, feeling uncomfortable to be able to hold all the ter all of his territorial holdings. And yeah, we'll see how this plays out from here. Uh, Stargate finally getting dropped from Ball, both at the natural expansion and at the six o'clock base, a flood of vultures making their way out. We do have plus three weapons and plus two armor being upgraded. 
Supply lead still in So's favor. The army count just about even, though, keep in mind, because of the huge differential. So's got a big bank and a stronger economy, despite being on fewer bases. The main just about mined out for both players. Actually, pretty well saturated here. I'm wondering if he's got transferred from So out to this base to allow those minerals uh, lengthier building time or uh, lengthier reprieve. But now, as far as a follow-up, Soh has managed to get on the map and get a lot of these mines out in the forward field, sending vultures along that corner. This is something we saw Stunter not do in previous matches. Just going to... I think he wants to just send these forays out, create some chaos while he's making his way towards full upgrades and while he's replenishing that siege tank out. Still a little bit concerned about no lack of a third machine shop. So now he's back to eight tanks. I'm not going to count that one to the right corner because this would be the aggressive or defensive attack and really the upgrades when you're talking about it you're not really concerned about level three weapons on the vultures you're concerned about level three weapons on the siege tanks so despite so being in stronger economic position ball being a little bit negligent in his pro count saturation and workers i ball actually doing a pretty good job spending his money as well uh anyone's game Overall, this time so moving up to potentially grab that fourth base with a mass. Grabbing that third, canceling that third now that it's been spotted. Gonna slow play it, and it looks like take the inside six. Let's see if he grabs that three o'clock location. Has a big bank to work with. Is that max supply? But it looks like he wants to just sit. Maybe he's just waiting to get a superior engagement, hoping ball will come to him as he's trying to grab territory around the map. Now engaging some Dragoons heads up mid-map, the Observer out of position to provide help with mine coverage, but no mines left, it looks like, in this Vulture complement. But again, so playing very, very Vulture heavy and very, very tank light as he doesn't have that third machine shop down uh, to replenish those siege tank forces. So we'll see how it plays off. But Probe looking to grab that additional base, but needing to drop a pylon and a cannon potentially to clear that mine. Dragoons moving up to check whether there's a command center here. We'll be able to clear out that SCV at least. Command center, it looks like it's going to get floated out to that inside six. Vulture streaming across look like they're going to be able to halt progress. So some Dragoons, platoon of Dragoons being sent to the upper left-hand corner to go ahead and allow some additional mining up there. 70 SCV count for so, now saturating that inside 12 o'clock location. The 3 o'clock has been cleared out. Dragoons eating a little bit of damage on that mine. That, that's another way to clear that mine. So that could be a potential 5th base, 4th mining base for Ball. But Ball, yeah, needs to get his economics in order here. I'm still concerned that he's still playing just flat gateway man. Although I will say I don't know that there's been punishment for it from so just with positioning and engagements thus far. Fleet Beacon is up, plus one weapons being upgraded, so we are going to see a tech switch very late into carriers. Got four already out. One problem for Ball at the moment is he might want to just suicide some troops forward to open up some supply to get additional carriers out. I don't see a lot of Goliaths. Same problem opposite side for So, where he's got, what, two Goliaths? Four Goliaths opposite side. Big EMP on these Dragoons to the right. Another EMP just for good measure. So the Dragoon's going to get wiped out. Let's see if they sneak up and try to seize that 3 o'clock location. So just doing Terran things, carving out that section. A probe going to go wander up and grab that base upper left. But I worry about So being able to stave off carriers at this stage because he's so locked into supply. He just freed up some supply for additional carrier production on Ball's side, and I don't know that he has the opportunity to build anti-air to counter this. Nothing but siege tanks and mines along that corner. So Ball going to be pushed back. Dragoon getting quickly wiped out there. We have a command center waiting to land at that three o'clock location to go ahead and seize that. Natural expansion no longer mining, main no longer mining for so, but huge bank for him. Still wanting to play in a more defensive posture. Much larger bank to work with with Ball. Very slow, being very slow to move across the middle of the map. A lot of siege tanks to the north. Ball not choosing the best engagement point here. So going to be pushed back. The upgrades on his end, he's got level one shield, plus one weapons. Still no Arbiter support. 
siege tank count much larger now for so towards this later stage of the game but has mostly utilized it to just claim additional territory now the carrier fleet sizable with that five count and we just don't i'm wondering if this is going to trigger if this will backfire for ball because we've got what we got seven goliaths out here 200 supply cap so what so could do as soon as the carriers present themselves is just suicide a lot of these troops into ball and i don't know that ball would be able to push a lot of it back unless he draws the carriers back which would provide some more supply and time for so to fill in the gap so at the moment as far as just pure economics is just way ahead has a gigantic bank to work with is starting to peel forward engaging from the north the carriers sweeping across from the high ground so the carriers have now revealed themselves big supply drop in the midst of that and i'm curious if we're going to see the subsequent yeah some goliaths to go ahead and fill that gap in so so gonna lose a lot of this army but has obliterated everything on ball side except for the carriers and a measly dragoon zealot army otherwise the goliath's actually doing some good work here and able to pick off two of the carriers as well so ball plummeting sub 100 supply wow those goliaths with target fire there wasn't a lot of them but with that level three weapons able to pick off three carriers that were exposed over that edge so pulling back to go ahead and replenish that attack force he's got all sorts of factories to do so actually producing some wraith as well i think recognizing he's got an open opportunity as there was a wipe on both sides to potentially march up halt this base before it's running and then turn around and maybe attack that western base as well the goliaths need to be very very careful as they're very important with that threat of carriers out on the map siege tanks able to wipe out that cannon to the north that two carriers moving forward but one problem with carriers on this map is there's so much open space massive open area it, beca it becomes difficult to be able to protect them away from goliaths that are running around and sniping them and without a sizable army underneath ball having to retreat some probes transferring to the north i'm wondering if they're trying to transfer to this looks like they're just going to transfer uh, to this location here it would be suicide at this stage to try to transfer to this base so marching is Goliath up to wipe that out we'll see if he does a quick turnaround ball needs to get something up because this is going to be a critical mining base for him he's still got an, oh, a little bit of mineral patch there at the natural expansion is mostly abandoned mining there so he's mining on three bases versus two which puts it about even as far as Terran versus Protoss economics so also expanding to the what would typically be a third in the bottom right hand corner inside three o'clock location and so backing out after all that damage done so instead of pressing the issue feeling he's got enough goliaths out on the ground got enough siege tanks now regathering his attack troop science vessel with a lot of energy to work with you actually just leaving looks like a complement of three goliaths there to the northwest to wipe that out ball has a bit of an attack force to regroup with but just doesn't have the pure economic base honestly to keep up with so's output at this stage Goliath's getting caught so looks like a science vessel also getting picked out in the air the carriers retreating to the north upon realizing but ball yeah just realizing that's too much from so too much game's over too large a bank too much on the ground so game one goes to so in this best of three hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for listening